How's it going, Forex traders? It's yours truly, Dapo Willis. <laughs> Guys, as you can see, I'm quite excited to be back on YouTube because I've absolutely missed you guys. Anytime I take some time off, you know, I have time to reflect, you know, on everything. And once I jump on back here, I feel very refreshed. And it's time for us to go again. Now, guys, I have two pairs. Two pairs lining up pretty nicely that I want to share with you guys. For those guys who are joining me for the first time, like I said, my name is Dapo Willis and this segment of my YouTube channel is called Trader Talk. Now, in this segment, I like to come and showcase my trading analysis, okay, what I'm looking at, the trades I'm potentially going to be placing, and hopefully, you guys can place them as well so that you can make money alongside my humble self. So, like I said, once again, this is Trader Talk, and I'm going to be jumping into my charts very soon. Two pairs that I want to share with you guys, Euro USD and AUD USD. Now, you guys know I've been in AUD USD for quite a while now. I've been holding on to that trade because my strategy says hold. And guess what, guys? It looks like we're about to drop maybe another 700 pips. Once we break out current support, which is looking quite heavy at the moment, we're about to drop 700 pips. So in total, I should be looking at about at least 8,200 pips on AUD USD. You see, this is the power of the top-down analysis. This is the power of when your strategy tells you do this you do it close your laptop and go and do other things and allow the market work for you the top-down analysis like i've been analyzing for the last three weeks here told me your dabs aud us is about is going to drop and i jumped into the trade yes it took a longer time than i expected but because i have so much confidence in my analysis and the top-down analysis and all the stuff that i teach on the forex mastery program i held on to my trade and guys, from what I can see right now, the market is looking very heavy and it looks we're about to looks like we're about to drop for another 700 pips. That's a lot of pips. And the euro is about to drop another 250 pips. So guys, in total, that's a lot of serious pips. Guys, and thanks all of this is thanks to what the top-down analysis because we're able to anticipate thousands of pips into the future. We spot the trades, we trade them, close our laptop with peace of mind, go spend time with our family, go shopping while the market makes money for us while we sleep. The top-down analysis equate true freedom and I'll keep speaking about it, I'll keep preaching about it and I mean most of you guys are on Forex Mastery program anyways. <clears throat> So you know exactly what I'm talking about. For those of you guys who haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery program that has the top-down analysis included inside it, the link to grab the program is in the description. As always, you see it right there or it's going to be around here somewhere. So guys, once again, without any further ado, I'm going to jump into my chat so that you can see what I'm saying. You can see that, yes, indeed, this top-down analysis is the way to what to go. Once again, my name is Dapo Willis. Thank you for joining me. Now, let's jump into my screen. Love you guys very much. Let's go. How's it going, beautiful traders? Welcome inside of my screen. Yours truly, once again, it's my face, the face you love to see when it comes to Forex. Now, guys, obviously, as you can see, I've got my charts ready to go. Um, I've got AUD USD in front of me, which is looking very heavy. So we're looking about a potential 300 pip drop, then another 200 pip drop, which should uh, take us to about 500 potential pips. Um, but I've already been able to bag, as we speak, about 500 pips from the top. Um, and I'm going to be speaking about the euro, which is about to drop another 250 pips. But before I jump into the charts or do anything of that, you know what to do. Do it right now. If you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, I encourage you to do that. You have five seconds to do that now so that you do not miss out on fantastic trading opportunities like this one. Okay. So I give you five seconds to subscribe. Five, four, three, oh shit, two, one subscribe to the thing and don't forget to smash the bell icon so that you get um, notifications when I post these videos. Now let me just put my phone on don't disturb so that we can jump into this. So first thing I'm going to surgically dissect is AUD USD. Now I'm going to quickly do a recap on AUD USD because it's been a while since I've been on the charts. Um, in, in front of you, uh, it's been a while since I've been. Um, in front of you guys on YouTube, right? Obviously breaking down the chart. So it's very simple. Top-down analysis states that we must always analyze from a higher time frame down. 
monthly time frame has been pointing downwards since you know like i've been telling you guys i'm only going to flow in the direction of trading the direction of the trend and for every time we jump back up i've kind of like stayed aside from AUD usd because i've always known so the major trades that i've taken have been the swings to the downside pullbacks you can see have been very choppy pullbacks are always choppy because it's going against the flow of the river but look for every time we come down you know it's always an easier flow and then we pull back pretty significantly here although i did spot this pullback and i did make some money but i was obviously using some counter trend strategies to do that but no we suddenly made some good money here but i always prefer to trade in the direction of the trend and then we did this pullback and then we started to drop again to the downside now this is my style of trading i like to trade in the direction of the trend because i'm trading i'm trading in the direction of less friction once there's less friction there's less manipulation there's less choppiness things just flow a lot easier you're not in profit one day and then the next day you know the market is taken away from you no when you're trading direction of the trend, if you're in profit, it just keeps going. But if you're going against the trend, you start to see, you know, up and down, a lot more choppy movement. And that is very bad for your mental health when it comes to trading. So monthly time frame is telling me lower. As you can see, my key levels have been plotted pretty nicely. So what has happened to AUDUSD was you have to understand that AUDUSD, one leg to the down, we had this pullback. We're about to drop and come into 0.600, which is here. However, the market stopped just 128 pips shy of that. Round this is a 0.600 is a round number. So I was expecting this guy to come complete here. We came here, that didn't happen. So what happened was the market came shy of here and pushed back into this key level. You have to understand that there are two components of the top-down analysis. It's your flow of the river, which is overall trend, and these major levels, as you can see. Once again, if you wanna learn how to plot these key levels, you wanna understand what I'm saying better, get the Forex Mastery Program. All the information is on there. I don't have time to explain into how I plot this and how I plot that. You know, there's no time for that. I expect most of you guys who are watching this to be part of the Forex Mastery Program so that you understand what I'm saying. Once again, if you want to grab the program, the link is in the description down below. So key levels plotted here is so simple. You have to understand that once the market moves from zone to zone, like I keep telling you guys, this zone, test this zone, come here, this zone, test this zone, blah, blah, blah. So we came shy of this zone. The market didn't, wasn't, wasn't obviously having it. And then we push back into this major zone and we start to see bearish candlestick formation and we start pointing to the downside. So what this simply means is obviously the monthly time frame is already bearish. This guy is rejecting it to the downside. It's common sense. This is a downward play. Monthly is saying downwards. We have key level resistance rejecting it. We have monthly bearish engulfing candle and we have space to the downside that we haven't already completed. So these three, four, this, these are, it's pretty much evidence, right? So I have these four things that are very, very strong in terms of conviction. It's telling me, yo, your dabs, monthly is saying downwards, monthly key level bearish monthly candle bearish engulfing candle we have space to the downside you know you don't need any more you don't need any more information than that that's all you pretty much need for you to form a trading bias so done with the monthly time frame so then what you do is come to weekly time frame now i have personally been short since here okay because i use my simple counter trend line break strategy forex mastery students you know how my strategy goes so entry was here been shorting this bad boy we came here this market wants to come all the way down here. Like I keep telling you guys, if the market is gonna drop a significant amount of pips, it doesn't just fall off the sky. We would come and play around. The market was mess around. Now, when we pull back, we had this nice pullback. It's been we pulled back into here and then, so this way you come to the daily time frame. Now, I had short positions inside here. So as you can see, when we pull back, now, quick one. The market doesn't just go from zone to zone. In a straight line it would it would drop consolidate drop consolidate drop consolidate drop consolidate now these consolidations give us an opportunity to add even more trades i'm short somewhere around here but because of the fact that i knew it wasn't going to drop all the way down for every consolidation i see i see I, I the market presents to me i see it as an opportunity to add more selling positions it's just like i have a 1000 pip gap and i know the market is going to drop to 700 pips 
I'll add more position, drops to 400 pips, add more position. So this way, at the end of the day, you probably back like 2,000 pips from a 1,000 pip move from one single pair. I've spoken about this over and over and over and over and over again. I keep talking about it, right? You don't need more than one pair. You just need one pair that's about to have a massive move and then you just stack up along the way. This is the simplest and easiest and safest way to flip your account while still keeping your risk low. Okay, for each of these trades, 3% risk. Once the market gives me all the pips, or uh, once the market goes in my favor, before I get into another trade, I that my previous trade, my stop losses, I move it past break even to ensure that that first trade is risk free, transfer the risk to the next trade. And that's exactly how my risk at every given time is always 3%. Never more than 3% on a single pair. Never. Okay, <clears throat> this is exactly how you go ahead to risk 3%. Have you had somebody risking 3% to make almost 45% return on investment? By the time I'm done with this, probably 50%. Easy. Easy. Because I've got about three trades inside here. I've got one trade here. Before we get here, we're going to have more trading opportunities to jump in as well. So, um, yeah, it's as simple as that. Identify the big moves on higher time frames and then come to lower time frames to trade them. Anyway, long story short, I'm inside here for about three different trades. I have been posting, if you can check the previous three episodes, I've been on this because this guy has been in this range for how long? Let me calculate the weeks. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So this is two months and since March, I've been short in here. This is 24th of May. I've been short this market since March. And because of the fact that I believe so strongly in my top-down analysis and how to trade, the, uh, because I believe so strongly in my top-down analysis and the ideology of what it brings to me, I stick to my guns. I, I ain't going anywhere. I have nowhere else to go. This is my strategy, and I'm going to live. I'm going to live by it. Okay, in good times and bad times. Okay, so what most people call bad times is stop losses. I don't really get stopped out. I'm right nine out of ten times. My strike rate is ninety five percent. You get what I mean? Sometimes we have situations whereby the market is taking a longer period for it to hit its target, which is normal and natural. But this is where a lot of traders tend to lose faith and lose confidence in their strategy. But because it has worked for me so many times and made me so freaking rich, I ain't going anywhere. Just imagine for how many months, two months, my trade that I placed here, okay, come down jump up my stop losses was about uh, was above the was above the supply zone pretty nicely right the market will come down give me profit it'll come back up come down give me profit come back up pick close to my stop loss area start jumping down again do, do you know how long this took for this to happen this took weeks in all of this i closed my computer and i just went to go have fun and guess what guys we have tested this place for the third time like this so we're currently underneath and i say to you guys See, this is a golden rule when it comes to trading, right? If you're trading in a particular direction and the market is looking like it wants to pull back or whatever thing it is doing, keep your supply levels or your demand levels, just keep your levels intact. Don't delete them. You start to realize that the market will play around it. Allow the market play around it. I always say to myself, I mean, in this case of AUDUS, and I want you guys to learn from this, I said, provided we stay below this supply zone AUD USD is bearish we picked it the first time picked it here picked it here we tried to do a stop loss run we came down here to the bottom we rallied all the way to the imagine I made all this profit still didn't close my trade I watched my trade go back into negative and almost get to my stop loss, I did not shake because I had big plans for AUD USD, which is, as you can see, is down here. Okay? So this is ultimate belief. I believe so much in the top-down analysis. It is my bread and butter, and I'm not going to deviate from it. I've been doing this for as long as I've been trading. And I encourage you guys, if you don't have a strategy that you believe in so much, get the Forex Mastery Program. Get the top-down analysis so that you have something that you can potentially hold on to. Now, without any further ado, AUDUSD, you heard it here first on DAPC Radio. 0.62088 is the next level target for AUDUSD. It's an absolute no-brainer. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't come down here. Once we break this, the market is heavy. It's going to break. It's heavy. It's not like here where we dropped all the way to the no, no, no. This guy 
he's freaking heavy. Except some news or some crazy thing happens, this guy is heavy. Next level target, 0.62088. If we can break that, 0.600. And if I calculate, I got three positions in here, one position in here. If I calculate everything together, whew, that's a lot of pips. <laughs> that's going to be a lot of freaking pips. Maybe 3K pips on AUD USD alone. Okay, that's going to be. I don't think I might need. If this trade gets to this green bar, yeah, I might not need to trade again for the rest of the year. I'll be good. Okay, so this is the power of one trade, one pair, multiple trades. One pair with big potential, multiple trades, and then stick to one. And I know AD USD inside out like the back of my hand, so I feel like I've mastered the pair to a certain extent, right? Next pair, Euro USD. And this is the reason why I strongly believe that um, AD USD is going to drop. The Euro, on the other hand, is one pair that made me very, like, it broke my heart last time because I'll tell you what happened. So first of all, we must always come to the monthly time frame just to see what exactly is happening. You guys can see downward bearish, 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 bearish. So I jumped on this wave all the way to the downside. I've made so much money. I, I've been like most of what since 20 beginning of 2022 was a fantastic trading year for me last year. It's one of my best trading years so far. The year before that, you can see all this choppy movement it was consolidation, blah, blah. But once we were able to break, let me zoom this in so that you guys can understand what I mean. Once we were able to come out of this head, this was a double top. The market wasn't sure what it wanted to do, you know, all that. But once we were able to break this neckline and start heading downwards, and I could see that clearly on a monthly time frame. As you can see from a monthly time frame, I can clearly see that once we had broken here, next level target was here. Mind you, this is a monthly time frame. Between here, between this bar and this bar is about a thousand pips. Yeah. So what that means was, once we had broken out here, I was certain of a thousand pips because next level target was down here. And I also said, if we can take out this level, next level target, next level target is going to be down here. So technically, I projected Euro to drop 2,000 pips. Best believe I was selling, shorting it, eating, called everything live on my YouTube channel. It was sequential. It was straightforward. It was very much on point. We got here around parity level so we obviously parity is one point parity is 1.000 this pretty much meant that the euro was equal to the dollar right so 1.00 was parity we got to parity and then i started to notice some the selling action wasn't that strong anymore anyways we came down to obviously test the key level it has to test the key level as you can see tested the key level pretty nicely key levels are very important in your trading what did we do when we tested the key level? If you know, green, green bars, green bars, green bars. We come, we break this inner trend line. We come, we settle what was known as resistance before. When you break above it, it becomes support. And the euro looked like it was about to start heading higher. However, I was very skeptical about this because if I take my Fibonacci, because first of all, this is a leg to the downside. This is a lower low from here, okay? So this is a high, this is a low, this is a lower low from here. If I know the market very well, before we come and put in a full-scale reversal to the upside, we must at least see a double bottom. Now, this market, this is not a double bottom. This is a single bottom. So I said this retracement might probably just be short-lived. Maybe we just want to come and fulfill some technical levels. And as you can see, that is what is, is happening right now. If I also draw my, my Fibonacci from swing high to swing low, you can see very. this is known as the Willis zone. On a high time frame, any time technicals line up like this on a very high time frame you need to take it very serious the forex mastery students you know this they say no brainer it's a major thing 50 fib is holding market is looking downwards you know so this is monthly for you on the on a on euro usd now done with monthly every all the levels are plotted pretty nicely we all know that the next level target is obviously we have these are the two zones that are guiding this current price movement right and we're currently pointing down so if anything at all this is the closest in sight if we're going to come down we're going to come down here if we're going to go up we're going to go up here these are to guide us right however euro and bearish because overall this market is bearish so monthly has said what has monthly taught us overall flow is down Overall flow what is down. Secondly, we have put into Fibonacci, bearish Fibonacci pointing lower. And as you can see, I can see some bearish 
candles take action happening at the moment. Today is the 24th of May. If this market continues like this for the next 30 days, I'll say them, blah, 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 31 days in May. <laughs> 31 days in May, right? So if this candle closes like this, we're heading to the downside. So monthly has already told me what he needs to tell me for the euro. Then I come to the weekly to see what exactly is happening. Now on the weekly, I can see very clearly that this was the top of the euro. We tried to break it. It didn't break. This is a double top on the weekly time frame. Forex Mastery students, you know that module that I talk about. It's called Trend Reversals. What is the golden rule for Trend Reversals? Double top on a what weekly time frame? I'm not going to say the rest, but you know, this is a Trend Reversal. Now, this is a Trend Reversal. Don't forget, this is a trend. So, this double top is reversing this so th this double top is reversing this upward trend. This is a medium term upward trend. The overall trend is still bearish. You can have an upward trend within a downtrend. I'll explain that again. You can have an upward trend within a downtrend. And that is usually known as a retracement. So the market can be trending downward, but medium term trending upwards. Usually in a case of a what? A retracement. This is what is bringing an end to the retracement. This double top, right? Now, you know, baby pips 101, right? Double top, the market must come down to complete at the one, at the neckline. So, now this double top has held. That means what I can see for free right now is next level target for the euro will be 1.05000. Now, between here and here is about a 250 pip drop. So, now what I've been able to identify is a 250 pip drop. You see how I've used the higher time frames to identify space of trading opportunity that I can then take advantage of. And then you come to the daily time frame. Tell you guys, if you don't have the forex mastery program, you're, you're sleeping on a bicycle, man. You're sleeping on the bicycle. Get it. Save yourself all that stress, all that rubbish they're teaching you guys and signals. They don't work. All those telegram groups don't work. Learn how to do it properly, and you never go hungry again in your life. So from what I can see here, this is the euro, right? We are easily easing ourselves all the way to downside. So in this situation, I would like to use what I like to call the falling knife strategy, which I have been promising to update, and I haven't updated since. Yeah, twenty-two. Girl, I wanna handle you. Bam. So we have that there. So that's mapped out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to put my minor level bar here. Give me a sec. Yeah, so it needs to touch the supply zone, which is about here. So what I've done here is I've been able to identify a minor level of resistance because this market is not just going to drop. We would roll over like so so i'm done with that and come over to the four hour time frame once you come over to the four hour time frame i'll be expecting this market to roll over all the way to the downside although i'm not going to sh i don't have a trading opportunity just yet for the euro but i'll be monitoring the euro and i'll be looking for potential pullbacks into supply regions about here so this is looking like a decent supply region so i'm going to be watching the euro very carefully if i come to one hour time frame maybe i can get some better um, view of what exactly is happening so i'm going to be watching this bad boy for a potential pullback into 1.08400 if we get that oh i'll be jumping on this pretty nicely although the consolidations are very small so we might not have a significant pullback but i'll be looking for a pullback on the euro to jump on this but i can tell you for free next level target on the euro is 1.05 100 right so all i need to do now is look for trading opportunity and i'm going to jump into the euro usd if i were you i wouldn't be in a hurry this market tends to do this you act like yeah, yeah, yeah i want to go i want to go i want to go then pull back i want to go i want to pull back right so don't be in a hurry wait for a pullback that fits your trading style and jump in so you headed here first on dapsy radio 1.055 right i see no reason why we shouldn't get all the way down there now going to quickly touch over gbp usd gbp usd the situation is a bit similar we failed to give it so what happened was gbp usd actually quite clever i came into the supply zone right so we've come into the supply zone so what's happened before i talk about the supply zone this is not a clear higher high 
Okay? This is not this cannot equally pass at the third top of the trend line because we tried, it didn't happen. So what happened was the market killed two birds with one stone, F gave a third touch of here, a failed higher high, but it also quickly went to touch the supply zone. We've done that. It's tired. Look, this is how you know a market is struggling to go somewhere. When you see, look at the amount of candles. Go up, come down. It doesn't want to go up. It wants to come down. GBP USD next level target 1.2100. Don't forget this is a head and shoulder pattern that has formed here. If I were you, I would wait for this level to be broken. Simple as short. Next level target for this 1.2. 1500 so you got nothing to worry about in terms of entries and exits um i'm going to give this market maybe another five six days i will be looking for a, a more refined entry because i'm already shot aud usd um euro not yet gbp usd not yet so i'll be looking for a more refined entry in the coming days but i just wanted to give you guys some heads up that some money some good money is about to be made what do I need from GBPUSD? Take this guy out. Come down here. Nice daily candle close. Start looking for a consolidation around here. Drop it. This is where you can freely and easily scale down to your one hour time frame and look for trading opportunities once we clear here. So you got nothing to worry about. Just wanted to give you guys some heads up once again of what exactly is happening on the Forex market. Um, my trades are still intact, still short AUD USD. I might be looking to jump into the euro and GBP USD as the days unfold. Once again, I love you guys very much. Not touching gold. Gold is so confused. Every other pair is confused. The three majors are popping right now. Okay. So guys, thank you for staying to the very end of this video. I love you guys very much. I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. See you guys in my other screen. Peace out. Don't forget to get the Forex Mastery program. Change your life. Bye. See you. All right, thank you guys for staying to the very end of this very lengthy video. It wasn't that lengthy, it was quite short, but obviously I had to spend some time explaining certain things to you guys so that you guys understand what exactly it is, you know, I'm looking at and what exactly it is I'm coming from. And I hope you guys were able to gain a lot of knowledge, but most importantly, go ahead and get ready for these trades that are about to line up so that you guys can potentially make some good money as well. Once again, my name is Dapo Willis. I love you guys very much. If you haven't already grabbed the program, the link is in the description as always. I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. Take it easy and peace out.